Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to explain why in-memory OLTP has been built in SQL Server and uh, the problems this feature address. Let's get started. If you look at the original SQL Server architecture at very high level, when client makes request, what SQL Server does is to look for required data in buffer pool. If the data does not exist in buffer memory, it, it first brings the data to memory from disk and then submits the data back to client. In other words, data resides on disk and it is loaded to memory when required and unloaded when there is memory pressure. I think we all know about this, right? So why not to keep all the data in memory cache? Why data should reside on disk? Why they should be your operations, right? So the main reason is uh, way back when SQL Server and other major databases were originally designed, memory was very expensive and you couldn't find big size memory at the time. It was impossible to keep all the data in memory. However, things are changing dramatically these days. Nowadays, you can find one terabyte of RAM for a few thousand dollars. You can also easily get access this size uh, RAM in the cloud, right? Azure, GCP, with affordable prices. As a result, memories are becoming capable of holding the whole operational active data. You can just keep the whole table in RAM and keep copy of it in disk for only durability purposes. But original SQL Server architecture is designed mainly for on-disk tables. There are concurrency controls, for example, like latching, locking in SQL Server, which allows only one thread to update a specific data structure in memory at any given point of time. This means that also you can scale hardware by adding more CPU, more memory, right? The concurrency control quickly becomes bottleneck and a limiting factor in improving system scalability. These trends and the architectural limitations led the Microsoft team to the conclusion that a true in-memory solution should be built using different design principles than the classical SQL Server database engine. They built a system where there are in-memory tables and indexes that reside completely on memory. The copy of these tables can be kept on disk and they are durable on SQL Server restarts. In the case of, uh, for example, server restart, right? In-memory tables and indexes are created only one time and data is unloaded from disk to memory only one time. And uh, after that, only like uh, clients work with tables on memory, okay? By using simple T-SQL language. So there is no latching or locking concurrency controls. In-memory OLTP uses a new multi-version concurrency control which allows multiple threads to work with the same data without any uh, blocking or locking. And this improves, of course, the scalability of the system. To summarize, Microsoft has built in memory OLTP structure so that SQL Server can effectively utilize big memories and improve performance. In memory OLTP is a great technology and it can dramatically improve the performance of systems. In my next series, I'm going to explain the internals of this memory OLTP and its different components. You will be able to understand how it works under the hood to get the most from it. Please do not forget to subscribe for my future series. Thank you.